So they hire up on a daily, at any given time, they have two people that are there 24 7. And then, then they're like us. They have, they call theirs part time people. Um, so they may, so if those two guys that are there go out on the call, mm -hmm. then they, they may call two of their part time people and, hey, y'all come sit by, sit at the station in case we get another call. So they only have two people on the truck at any time. And see, and see we, got, we got those two. When I look at that station on page 30, and page 36, which is two of the ones that we're also talking about possibly in those options, they were, they were pretty fortified and pretty good, but that, that's just me from the home owner. But what I'm saying is, say if you, if you put two people, similar to the Hay House situation, they're now in this budget. And, and if we want to toss some money uh, towards even renovating the additional housing in there, I mean, that's something, a stopgap, I guess, if we're talking about that, and also looking at what we're trying to go to, and the local, current locations, <coughs> those options are. But if you look at that page 30 and page 36, I mean, those are great, nice, dog cool stations. And if they have it, can do it with two. So we call them them, you know? Jerry? I don't have a clue at this moment. <laughs> so, welcome to the <laughs> So, the problem with, so, the two people is. I mean, and we call it, we call it power too. Everything is an option. Yeah. I'll tell you my 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 um, reasoning behind why I think two people are a bad idea. So we talked about those NFPA standards, um, and so there are standard practices of okay, you know, we talked about you got to have two people go in because you don't send one person by themselves. So you got to have somebody pumping the truck, and preferably have somebody outside watching. But at a minimum, you got to have two people inside and one person watching the truck. So if we roll up on a house fire and we've only got two people on the truck because we put two people at that station, from a public perception standpoint, I think we've set ourselves up because those guys, I'm gonna, as, as the fire chief, I'm going to tell them, do not go in that house if it's on fire because it's too dangerous. You run the risk of getting yourself hurt or killed, and that's going to make us look bad when we're standing outside waiting on somebody to get And I'm just bringing that one up because we're not really even talking about no no, no money increases with this, what I'm talking about. This is something I think we're probably going to buy in what we, we have in, in the interim. We're talking about stop gap, you know. Yeah. You follow that? Good. <laughs> but put all this, bring this all back around full circle. I think the challenge is here, or the charge is more than a challenge, is that we should charge staff with looking at every potential option that is out there. From here until this is into effect, we decided that's what we want to do to improve on the current system we have to make it just as good as it can possibly be. I think that really is where we're at with this because you're saying, what are we going to do in the interim? Well, we know what we've got, so all we can do in the interim is improve on what we've got. So what are our options there? And that's something that staff is going to have to deal with. But I think, I believe, from this commissioner, I'm looking at it from a standpoint of let's make what we currently have just as good as we can possibly get it, make it smoother to what we can have and improve. It may be that we can't do any better until we put option two, if that's the one we decide on, into place. But the mindset should be that we're doing everything that we can to improve on the process that we have until we get here. Because any of those improvements that is made through the volunteers or through however we're currently operating, if we don't have them done when we get the option two, we still got to do all that. We still have a problem there. But we know that we've got to have volunteers. Best case scenario, <coughs> We're not, going to, we're not going to get to a point to where you say over here on option five that potentially you may not have to have a volunteer system in place because you might recover with, with option five. We can't get to option five. Now. So we know for quite a while we're going to have to have and need to have a good volunteer basis. So the point is, is between now and the time we get to option two, the goal is to improve the volunteer process that we've got, making it smooth. And I'm not, I'm not saying bend over backwards just for the volunteer. I'm just saying look at everything that's on the table to see how 
that cooperation with the volunteers, how that, call it a marriage if you want to, but to me that's really what it is. You've got to marry a volunteer <coughs> group with a paid group, with a paid staff that's giving them commands, and I know they're volunteers, but they're still a process. People volunteer to play athletics. They volunteer, nobody forces them to do it. But they still then have to play as a team, and that's what we've got to get to. We've got to get what we currently have, everybody working together, and we've got a good positive team that's going to benefit the citizens. Mr. Chairman, I think there's two measurable goals for staff that we can pull out of this that hopefully, hopefully are in line with what you all have said. I think the first one is, as Commissioner Ornstein indicated, to make sure that we are improving the return on the current investment. Um, and the second is to look at that average response time. You know, regardless of what changes as far as policy and funding and additions and all of that, it's the firefighters that have, have got to pull the wagon. And so I think Lloyd working with them on understanding why our average response time is what it is and that we have a charge to improve that and then him looking at the mechanics of how we can improve. And that average response time is something that can be tracked monthly. You're not going to see a real turnaround but once a year, but still those monthly goals of, of focusing on that and him going to the volunteers and, and talking to the vet pay staff about, okay, we're working on this, but this is where we need to be with that response time. I think that that's... It, you know, I'm not trying to shorten it, but I know that we are kind of working on a little bit of the timeline. Did I understand, is everybody good with option two to be at in 18 months? Is that what we're talking about? I think everyone said option two is their desire. I don't know that everybody said they want to be there in 18 months. Did you? No. No. Like when do you want to get there? No, I'm saying that we may see that, that we can make immediate improvements that are reducing those response times and things are things are, are, are progressing well that I'm not saying we need to intentionally delay any of this, but I mean hypothetically if we find ourselves in six months and things things are better for whatever reason. I, mean, I know you're saying that's not likely to happen, but I think I think we just need to, I think we need to continue to evaluate that. And I think we need to tell these guys that, hey, we're here for you, whatever that is. If there's, if there's technology that needs to be had, if it's one more additional person, go ahead. No. The only thing that I've asked the commissioners through this process, number one, is that can we make a decision that Lowndes County is at a, report, a point to where we've got to better serve the citizens with a higher level of fire service. Are we there? Or are we not? You and I have had that conversation. Well, my, what I'm trying to get to is that if we say, well, let's just fall on this and let's see if the other can be fixed, then we're just kicking that can a little further and a little further down the road. My interpretation of that words in Scotty's mouth and anybody else that hasn't spoken yet is not a delay but an effort simultaneously on the improvement of current situation while you're working towards that end. Is, is that yes, my wrong? Right. That is, well maybe I took it wrong but I didn't hear it that way. I heard it. Let's improve what we got, and then we may can move that further down the road. I don't think that that's the direction we need to go in. If we decided that the citizens of this community need a higher level of service, then it's our responsibility to make that decision, and then figure out how we're going to pay for it. But we got to start to get there. Yes, sir. Play with the numbers. Talk about paying for it. Okay. So.